Hello you guys, my name is Sinistic and we are here with more Everlasting Summer. Goodness, how many times have I said that already? So, remember, we were on the closest island. The closest island? The farthest island. Anyway, let's move on. It seems so far away that I felt like a first person on the moon watching the Earth- Oh wait, no, I read that. I remember, Semyon's imagination. Oh my gosh. Here you go. Slavia handed me a basket. It was a small island, barely a hundred meters long. Whoa, but it is the closest island, though. I give it that credit. It looked more like a birch- Whoa! I almost read that wrong. Whoa, you guys, whoa. It almost looked like a birch grove with even rows of trees covering its entire surface. And a calm green sea spread beneath our feet with wind causing lonely waves on its surface from time to time. Oh, the small mini waves. But those are like the best waves though, right? Like when you go to the beach and it's like, oh, look at those small waves over there. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I mean, it's better than actually going in it. Because I don't know if you guys, well, I'm assuming that most of you guys have been in the beach before. But you know when you go in the water and like you see the huge wave coming and then when you crash into it, it just kind of sucks because you're just spiraling over with drowning in water. I mean, that's not good. But sm ba big waves are bad. Small waves are awesome. Anyway, the island looked like a lost paradise. Really? Does it? Does it really? It's no wonder that the most delicious strawberries grow here. Oh, grow just here. We've got to split up. That way it will do the job faster. Slavia, do you know what happens when people split up? Have you watched a- well, have you watched a Scooby-Doo episode? You know bad things happen, right? Right? Like one of us is gonna get kidnapped and we're gonna have to go save the other one, but then on one side we're gonna get some more bonding social link practice, but on the other side it's like, oh no, I'm just kidnapped. But you know, if you want to be that position, sure. Yeah, sure. But there are only two baskets! That's why we got split up, Lena. Lena said humbly. All right, my bad. Wow. Oh man. So how are we gonna split up then? Well, oh, okay. Didn't even realize they're thinking of all split, all three of them splitting up. But no, now we we'll go back to the scenario that I was saying earlier. Come on, me, Lena, Slava, you can go do your thing. No, no, no. I'm gonna go with Lena, guys. That's just an automatic choice. Lena, you and me need to spend some more time, cause we gotta talk about some things. Let me go with you. Let's go. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Slavia, grab the second basket and venture to the opposite side of the island. Well, sorry, Slavia. You go do your thing. Well. Well. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Lena smiled. Just pay attention. Don't leave a single berry behind. Or maybe just don't let go of my hand. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. You too. Come on, let's go find the goddess. The goddess. The paradise of berries. I want to see a magnificent CG. Oh, nope. My wishes won't come true. So it was harvest time. Indeed, the strawberries were delicious. Well, I mean, I wish I'd know what it would look like so that I could imagine what it tastes like. I mean, that always bothers me in games when, you know, characters are eating something and it's like, oh, this is so good. Because I have a tendency to, like, really want to see food so that I can judge how good it is by how it looks. I mean, I know that's really bad and all, but I can't really eat a virtual item through a video game, so that's like the best thing I've got. It's like the same thing I do when I watch the Food Network. Like, when they're on Chopped, it's like, oh my god, that looks so good, I think I would want to eat it. Anyway, I could probably eat them all if I didn't stop myself in time. Despite being wild grown, the berries were close to the garden ones in size and had a rich red color, so it was clear that our visit here wasn't in vain. Lena followed me closely, as we only had one basket for the both of us. How closely, you may ask? Well, let's find out. If I felt like a real mushroom picker, examining each shrub and carefully pawning the grass. Hold on, gotta go on a cough break. Well, you're much better than me. What? How? We're just picking berries. I can't pick a berry better than you, Lena. Are you just complimenting me just a compliment? Am I? Frankly, I'm not even counting them. Yeah, right you are. Okay, friendly banter, you know, whatever. The- oh, oops. Okay, the basket was already half full. You must enjoy nature, right? Yeah, because you seem like the type of person that enjoys nature. I do. Oh, really? Oh, what? What? what a br the bright sun rays pierced the top of the trees and blinded me for a second. You sure that wasn't just a thunderbolt in the middle of the day? What the heck was that? I sat down on the ground and leaned against a tree. Oh. Oh, we're not having a flashback? Okay. Still, it's so beautiful here. Lena sat down next to me. Uh, so close that our elbows touch. Oh my god, guys, our weenuses are touching. Oh god, Lena! Sepian's weenus are touching! 
Yeah! Oh, oops. Yeah! We just sat down and enjoyed the moment. Seemed like the time stood still. Like the day the earth stood still. Or maybe it's just the romantic moment. Even though, I don't know if you would consider, like, touching weenuses the most romantic moment ever. But you know, that's a visual novel standards. This isn't IRL standards. <clears throat> the wind gently shook the tree leaves, and some bugs lazily hopped around the grass, and splashes of sunlight played on the far water surface. Damn, Sammy. Oh, whoa. Wait. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, guys. I was so confused at this picture right now. Okay, okay, okay. You see Semyon on the left, like, stand, like, sitting, lying there? So I thought his left arm, like, was, le like, Lena's left arm right there. I thought that, like, that was, like, Lena's right arm, I thought that was Semyon's left arm. And so I'm looking at this picture, and I'm just like, what the hell is happening? Because I'm just like, is Lena holding her own waist? But then I realized, no, that wasn't happening. Like, don't, like, doesn't her... Like, left- or not left sleeve, but doesn't Lena's right sleeve look like Semyon's left sleeve? Like, it just looks kind of freaky. But anyway, ah, cute CG! It kind of looks like Lena's touching her thigh, but you know, I mean, go figure. If you want to touch your thigh while you're sitting next to the person, that's cool. Alrighty then. Um, Lena put her- oh, Lena put her head on my shoulder. I was surprised at first, but then I heard her regular breathing and I thought, that's just a matter of course. Probably she felt drowsy and wanted to take a quick nap. I, I mean, I guess we're both tired, but isn't it a bad idea to take a nap in like a uncharted island? I feel like bad things would happen. I just sat there and didn't think of anything for a few minutes. But then words started crossing my mind with ultrasonic speed. Lena! Sorry, I had to ruin the moment. I know, I know, I could have been romantic, said. Lena! 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 Ooh! But, you know. So <laughs> Lena, so close. Ooh! That's exactly how Simeon's thinking about it right now, guys. Oh, let me do it again. Le Lena, so close, sleeping. Ooh, so warm, so gentle, so feelings. Oh, oh, Simeon, come on. Let's bit up the feely feels. I want to feel super hard for Lena right now. Come on. I gazed at her. She had such a serene, such a tranquil look on her face that seemed just- Oh, oops. That seemed that right now that she's not here, but in some kind of better world. Maybe we can take her to my world. Hugh, 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 Hugh. I don't know what would happen if the next moment if I didn't hear the voice of Slavia. Sla oh man, cock blocked again. But at least we kind of expected that cock block because I feel like Slavia would have came back to us eventually. Simeon, Lena. I shook my head from side to side a few times. To come to my senses, Lena started to wake up. <laughs> she looks so mad. Oh my god. Maybe she's thinking the same thing that we are. It's like, damn it, Slavia, why'd you have to cock block me? Ah, cock block me from Semyon. She opened her eyes and gave me an empty look. Have a nice dream. Huh? Oh, don't tell me she passed out. <laughs> don't tell me she passed out without realizing it. Not. Oh man, no, it's not romantic. Well, I guess it is romantic, but. Like, if someone passed out on your shoulder, would that be considered romantic because they're not aware of it? I don't know. Suddenly realizing that she had dozed off and leaned on my shoulder, Lena blushed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry my shoulder became your shoulder because, you know, the, the art style of that CG looked a little bit weird for a second. It's fine. It's okay. The CG still looked nice, Lena. Slavia came over to us, so Lena rushed to get up. So how much have you got? So much strawberries, Slavia. So much, you can't believe it. <clears throat> I sighed. That's not a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa! Didn't, didn't the description say we filled half a basket? I'm pretty sure half a basket is a lot. Her basket was filled with strawberries to the brim. Well, well, it's enough anyway. Well, I mean, you know. I, fine, Slavia. You can show up with your strawberries. I still keep my half... Half basket strawberries to myself over here. Well, it's enough. And oh, oops. Well, if it's enough anyway, it's time to go back. Let's just swim across. Just swim across and throw the berries on the other side of the pier. I grabbed the basket and we headed back to the boat. And we're back. The way back took less time as I tried to concentrate on rowing and ignored everything else. Cause you know I just love penetrating my paddles against the water. The only, my only wish was to get back alive, as my first trip hadn't gone without consequences, and now my hands started to hurt only after a few sweeps of the oars. <clears throat> Having tied up on the boat, I fell to the ground with no energy left. Slava and Yelena leaned over me. 
You could have said something if it was so hard for you. Please, please, Slavia. I'm a man. I don't need no help. Not because you're a woman, but I just don't need help from anyone. Like, if you were Shurik or Electronic, I would tell them to get their ass over on the other side of the boat. Yes. Never mind, it's fine. I, at least I get more muscles. Or muscles. I'll just lie here for a bit and everything will be alright. Yes, cause everything is awesome. Okay then, get those baskets of Olga de Minitruva, please. We have something else to do. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean... Uh, I guess the- I would say, like, the kind thing would to do would be you guys would take it to her. <clears throat> and then I would just lay here, but I guess because I am the right-hand man of Olga Dominitriva, so I guess I kinda have to do it. I was ready to agree with anything at that moment, so I wouldn't have to get up. Slavia put a basket full of strawberries next to me and head to the square, happily chatting about Lena about something. I wonder if it's about me. Hoo hoo hoo! Oh gosh! Girl talk! The hardest part is done anyway. That's what I thought before I got up and took the baskets. After the, the rowing, they felt like cement bags. Even weighly, weigh, even while weighing barely more than a few kilograms each. And we're back here. So the camp at the- so the- oops. Oops! Oops! I am fast reading super hard right now. So the trip to the camp leader's cabin took much longer than usual. I had to stop every 50 meters to rest. And Lala like Glory! Once I made it, I put the baskets on the ground and sat on the deck chair with difficulty. Cause you know, everything's just too hard. Oh god! Oh, oops, not wrong voice. I'll go Devonitriva! Open the damn door! I'll go Devonitriva! I got presents for you! Cause you're such a great camp leader and I'm so awesome, actually, even though it was Slavia's idea. There was no answer. I barely managed to get up and enter the cabin. Oh god, where are you? Oh. There was nobody there. What? <clears throat> if you don't need them, it's after you. I laid down the deck chair and fell asleep. And so- What? 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 <laughs> Whoa! For a minute- Like, okay. I saw the screen on the right and I thought you was having a flashback, but then I looked to the left and I'm just like, wait a minute. That doesn't look right. <laughs> okay. I had a weird dream about a strawberry race. Oh. Did we barely make it? Oh, let's stru straw. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of a really good, like, fruit pun, but I can't think of anything related to strawberries at this moment. Oh, we gotta leave everything behind? Huh? I was rowing the boat with my last ounces of strength, trying to escape from the huge berries that were chasing me. Oh my gosh, it's like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes right now. Oh, oh, Sammy, let's go, let's go! My gosh, it's like the. T I was gonna say it's like Titanic, but then I was. Darn it. Ugh! That awkward moment when you're trying to make a funny reference and you can't think of any funny references. My hands are falling, falling me. My hands are failing me, and I could barely see anything because of the sweat covering my face. Blood was hammering in my temples, but the strawberries were getting closer. Oh my God, guys, we can't let them capture me. They're gonna eat me. Even though we can just eat them back, right? That'd be kind of weird. But their bearing teeth were at me. But wait, there's more. Strawberries with teeth. Simeon, Simeon. Oh god, are you gonna save me from the teeth eating, teeth, teeth eating, the teeth bearing strawberries? Cause they look pretty scary. Oh, hey, Olga, what's up? You look nice in that hat. Like it, like it a lot. I woke up. Olga Devinetra was standing beside me, shaking my shoulder. I see you got a rich harvest, didn't you? Yes, I did get a very rich harvest, Olga. Oh. Yep, I tried my best. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna be super cocky and be like, oh, it was all up to me. No, come on. Come on, guys. We gotta go with the good moral. It's gonna be like, thanks to the girls' help. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Okay, but that's not all. Seriously, I was just anticipating the lovely rest I was about to have. Do you even know what these strawberries are for? Eating? Making shampoo? I don't know. You tell me, Olga. Nah, not a clue. What an honest confession. We'll make a cake out of them! Aww, aww, strawberry shortcake, that's so kawaii. How sugoi! 